Hey guys, I got another strike on this channel because of fucking course I did. Please go check out my live stream channel. That will be the first link in the description because I got the Ghost Poop Podcast tonight at 5.30 EST with Drunken Uncle and the fucking Irate Bear. It's going to be awesome and you know you love it. It always, if you want to support the channel, please smash that like button. Feel free to donate for you any of the links below. Uh, higher education where you can take skills that are taught to you and turn them into careers where you can make friends that will last a lifetime, where you can take the knowledge that you might need to change the world, to open your mind up to new ideas and expose yourself to new thoughts and changes that could stick with you forever, to live your life to support your family. Higher education, what better thing could there be for humanity? Course uses Pyramid of White Supremacy to teach diversity. A course at Salisbury University in Maryland is using the Pyramid of White Supremacy to help teach students about diversity and cultural competence. Oh boy. It's almost as if uh, these college courses are dog shit led by people whose brains are made of aforementioned dog shit. Avoiding confrontation with racist family members and remaining apolitical make up the base, which is deemed critical for more egregious things like mass killings and genocide. Are you curious as to what this pyramid looks like as to the thought process behind remaining apolitical and not being, let's be honest, a Democrat can lead to things like genocide? Well, luckily for you, there's a helpful infograph here that'll break it right down for you. Let's start at the bottom of the period because that's where the fun stuff is, I guess. Uh, this is the lowest tier to white supremacy according to this article and according to the teacher who wrote this. Let's get started. Number one is politics don't affect me. So if you're not interested in politics, you're a white supremacist. There's two sides to every story. If you don't believe people's stories right away, you're a white supremacist. Avoiding confrontation with racist family members. If you don't get an argument with your family, you're a white supremacist. Not challenging racist jokes. If you think jokes are funny, you're a white supremacist. Remaining apolitical. If you don't vote Democrat, you're a white supremacist. The next tier up is minimization. We all belong to the human race. Denial of white privilege, a white savior complex, post-racial society. Can't we all just get along? Is getting along now suddenly white supremacist? It doesn't matter who you vote for because if you don't vote Democrat, you're a white supremacist. A white ally speaking over a POC, interruption, white supremacist. It's a joke, white supremacist. Get over slavery, that's a white supremacist. Hashtag not all white people, white supremacist. False equivocation, white supremacy. But my black friend said, white supremacist, not believing in experiences of POC, white supremacy, polarizing intentions over impact, white supremacy. The next tier up, veiled racism, victim blaming, racist jokes, P paternalism, I don't know what that is, English only initiatives, Eurocentric curriculum, racist mascots, bootstrap theory, tokenism, tone policing, Claiming you can be racist to white people. Colorblindness. So if you don't care about race or you think you can be racist to white people, that's veiled racism. Up next on this list is discrimination, racial profiling, the school to prison pipeline, hiring discrimination, stop and frisk, fearing black people, lining, racial slurs, anti-immigration policies, funding schools, Predatory lending. No schools, no prisons for people of color because that's racist. Next up is the call to violence. The neo-Nazi, the KKK, the N-word, burning crosses, confederate flags, and swastikas. All calls for violence. Actual violence. Unjust police shootings, which, let's be honest, most of them are not unjust. Lynching, of course. Hate crimes, of course. And police brutality, which has been debunked again and again and again and again and again and again and again. And then finally, if you fall into any of these tiers, you end up right here at the very top with mass murder genocide. The final piece of the white supremacy pyramid. In a pyramid, every brick depends on the one below it for support. If the bricks at the bottom are removed, the whole structure comes tumbling down. So... This is the insanity of higher education. The thing that you spend tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars going in debt for, this.
A course at Salisbury University, Maryland, is using a pyramid of white supremacy to help teach students about diversity and cultural competence. The one-credit course, Diversity and the Self, is a required class for any student hoping to obtain an elementary education major. So if you want to become a teacher, you got to know this because your mind is poison and these people's minds are made of dog shit. The pyramid ranks various concepts on different levels according to the severity with indifference forming the base and genocide residing at the top. I mean, pff, I thought everybody knew, you know, indifference and remaining apolitical is a direct pipeline to mass murder of people of color. Things like avoiding confrontation with racist family members, remaining apolitical, or saying politics don't affect me make up the base of the pyramid of white supremacy. Directly underneath forms of minimization, such as denial of white privilege, and not believing the experiences of people of color. Again, remaining apolitical, saying politics don't affect me, thinking reverse racism isn't real, or questioning a story told to you by someone who may be lying about a story they're telling all leads to mass murder and genocide, and it's a form of veiled white supremacy, but this college course aims to save you. We had to study the pyramid and also take a group quiz. A student in the class who wishes to remain anonymous told campus reform nothing that the placement of certain elements on the pyramid raised eyebrows. So this is just day to day for these people. None of this raised eyebrows. Remaining apolitical leading to mass murder didn't raise eyebrows at all. That's a little crazy. If you ask me, that's a little wacky, but it really activates the almonds. I find it ridiculous that unjust police shootings is at the top of the list right next to mass murders and genocide. The student remarked, the pyramid was not only biased, the way they ranked the events did not make much sense. I don't think any of this makes sense. But this is higher education for you. It doesn't need to make sense. You just need to pay for it and understand that white people are garbage. You got that? Fucking garbage. According to the syllabus, the course reviews theories and aspects of cultural competence most relevant to teaching in diverse classrooms. The, quote, explores the ideas of freedom, democracy, justice, equality, equity, and human dignity from being the perspective of the individual. So, in other words... I'm gay. I'm If you like this video and you want to hear more similar to it, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the section down below. I'm always interested in what you guys have to say. If you want to reach out to talk to me, please go to my Minds, Gab, and Twitter. All in the description. All are at Sinatra Says. If you're feeling generous, my PayPal and Patreon are both linked in the description. Until next time, my friends. This man isn't black! What?